And here was this young 20-year-old pilot sitting in the aircraft, sitting in the Spitfire, with a 500-pound bomb under his fuselage and all the armament in his wings, waiting for my number one to take off and then hearing in the earphones the instruction for me to take off. And I, I shall never forget, I turned the, the aircraft on straight line down the runway, opened the throttle, and up came the tail, and soon I was airborne, and up went the, the undercarriage, and the, I was on my way on the first trip over the German lines. And it was really quite the most dramatic experience I've ever had in my life. There was I, at the age of 20, with so much armament. I mean, it would blow any, any town to pieces. And I got in, into formation with my number one. And we flew up to about 10,000 feet. Because the way we were operating was at 10,000 feet, we'd patrolled what was the bomb line, which was a, a, an imaginary line beyond which we could go to drop bombs because we were so precise about this that we had to identify the target we were going to bomb.